Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time to explore or to check out the Franklin Mountains State Park, El Paso. Look at the view. This is like the farthest west Texas State Parks. So you got to be serious about your Texas State Parks to come here. We're on our way back from the west and it was pretty convenient. We are here on a Sunday. There are... <laughs> let, me, let me show you the, the site review here. So I'm going to be able to do <laughs> your, your campground tour on foot because there's only five sites. Site number five is not even near level. I have deployed every block. So we still, our leveling system is, is still not functioning, but even, even if it was, uh, I'd still have to use every block because we're not even close to the level. Uh, where side to side is good, front to rear not so much but we're here for one night so we'll sleep with our heads on the uphill side and... all right so there's no power there's no water we are saved though because we have the ubic us lantern hook we have a garbage can and you can tell it's been a while since they replaced that trash bag place to burn some wood and a place to eat some food, a metal table. What this campground has going for it is the isolation. Uh, there's, there's probably not gonna be any other campers here tonight. And if there are, there can only be four more. Now Franklin Mountain State Park has got a few things that we'll be able to explore in the videos, but it's mostly hiking trails that really set Frank, the Franklin Mountain State Park, you know, sets it apart from others, because you've got mountains to hike in. And, and you know, Texas doesn't have too many mountains. What a fantastic view. I need to pull out a panoramic camera. Time lapse. And then I'll go do some, then I'll, we'll go see some stuff. I'll find us some stuff. So if you're, if you're coming to Franklin Mountains State Park and you don't require enough space to park a big RV, they have primitive campsites. I, I mean, the, the RV sites are very primitive. Uh, for RV sites, they're primitive too. Uh, but these are your primitive sites, the primitive loop. This is also the trailhead for the Tom Mays Hike and Bike Trail. I don't think I'm going to get to that today. After driving 300 miles, uh, we're probably going to call it a day pretty early. But I think that's the trail going up to the Aztec Cave. We might go see that. But I gotta go see the rest of the stuff first. I gotta, I have to show you the rest of the stuff before we go see that stuff. If you're coming to Franklin Mountains, you might wanna know, there are rattlesnakes and wild pigs, possibly mountain lions in this area. And there are actually some caves. We're at the trailhead for the Aztec Caves Trail. Early El Pasoans discovered these caves. They thought they were Aztec. They found some they found some bones and stuff and they thought that was Aztec. Sounded cool. It's Aztec. We can actually, judging by that shape, I, can, I don't know if you can see it, but right about there. I don't know if I can get up there. I can't get all the way up there on the bike. I might give it a try. We gotta go see the rest of the stuff first. They have it both in English and Spanish. There are some really cool primitive campsites here as well, like that one way up there. And then there's another one way up there. Let's go see some more 
Franklin Mountain stuff. What an epic view. Look at this. That's it. We're, we're, we're at the end of the, the road. Wow. I don't. Be a great spot for a time lapse up there. I'm not gonna climb up there though. We got we gotta go see more stuff. This is epic though. You should come check this out. If, if you're traveling through the El Paso area and you need a place to stop and stretch your legs or just cook out a burger or something, <laughs> this would be the ideal place for it. I haven't found any bathrooms though. If you're traveling in a van or you have a, a, a tent, if you're if you're doing that real primitive camping kind of thing, site number 38, check this out. You're at the very end of the road. Great place to pitch a tent, build a fire, and enjoy all this canyon has to offer. There's a trail that goes to the top of that mount but I, I certainly don't have the proper footwear to to be scaling that thing let's go see some more stuff i i just cannot get over how epic this this campsite i mean franklin mountains has exceeded my expectation i'm on the nature trail i saw this this structure i thought it was something completely different i thought it was like a group pavilion but it's not it's actually attached to uh, this is a nature trail and we have this stone looking adobe That's the most unique bird blind I've seen in any Texas state park. They actually have a, a water reservoir to keep that fountain going. Lots of unique birds. I've seen several of these quail. We're headed down the canyon. I gotta get back out on the road. The trails out here, they're pretty hardcore, rough. Road. What a vista. Oh, got to get out of the way. That car coming. Look at that beautiful view. If you're interested in having a picnic in the day use area at Franklin Mountains, I got to tell you, the view is not going to disappoint. Check this out. Wow. You can probably see the Mexico from here. A little bit of haze in the air today, so you really can't see that far. All right, let's, let's go find some more stuff. The trailhead for the West Cottonwood Trail System. It's actually English and Spanish. Giving you a little info. There's actually a little pavilion like right up there where you could have a picnic lunch. But what a view from here. Ooh, that's a long way down that hill. A little sign by this trail said Sendero's Cory. C-O-R-Y. Cory. I don't I don't know what it is. It's down there somewhere. Maybe, maybe it's the way that rock configuration is, is set up. Oh no. I don't have the right shoes. I don't I don't have the, the right footwear. Or the right feet for making for hiking on on this stuff. I require wheels. I gave you bad information. It's Sneeds Corey. Whatever that is. So we are at the trailhead for the it's the lower sunset trail. 5.64 miles one way. It's a moderate hike. And you get a fantastic view of the west they even have it's a hike and bike trail too so they have bicycle repair station and it's a day use area so you can set up and have a picnic and enjoy the vista all right 
let's go let's go to the park headquarters and see the little museum so there was a fellow by the name of tom mays who was very instrumental in the franklin mountains state park oh this is the tom mays interpretive center we've got a amphitheater lots of information here we're going to go inside the building in just a moment and take a look at what they have there got to go to that one so from orange which is the furthest east well, that would be the furthest east but from orange to waco tanks 771 miles wow This is a real nice facility. Big community fire pit. Gotta stay hydrated. I actually got a little dehydrated over the last two days because I was spending all my time driving and not paying attention to hydration. That's empty. All right, so let me mask up and we'll go inside. I cannot be too careful. Crash. Beehive somewhere nearby. Hope there's not, not, not any of them killer bees. Oh, check it out. I wonder if they have showers. I haven't found any showers yet. No showers. Southwest fence lizard. Can you see anything? I'm not going to put my eyes on there. <laughs> All right. I guess we got to go around. It's open. It's open. 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I just missed it. Oh darn. Can you see in there? They got lots of cool stuff. They even have a a diorama. They have a diorama of the Franklin Mountains. It's an interactive diorama. Oh well. That means I'll have to come back. <laughs> I guess we'll go do a a VR tour. Depending on which way you're coming into Franklin Mountain State Park, you gotta be mindful of the really bad intersection out there. It was hard to get across with the big rig because of the cars coming down the hill. So, just be mindful of that.
morning from Franklin Mountain State Park. Ah, what a what a beautiful morning. What a beautiful place to spend the night. We have a ways before the sun. We have some time before it gets above the mountains. We'll probably be gone by the time that happens. So we slept without any generator noise last night. Slept really good. So I, there's a, there's a the only detractor that I can find is we can't get level. I don't have enough blocks to get level. That's the only detractor about the Franklin Mountain State Park RV camping loop. That and it's it's pretty tight. You know? We had a neighbor show up yesterday late. He, he has a, a 2,000 watt generator, just enough to power his air conditioner. Um, I plugged him into our, our generator so we could turn off his little little noisy generator. Uh, we had a good visit last night. It was just good hanging out, talking to people. I haven't done that in a while, a couple of weeks. We realized how much we missed having some social contact. Face-to-face -face social contact. Really needed two days, two nights at Franklin Mountains to, to, cause I feel confident that had I, if I had another day here, I could make it up to the Aztec cave. Of course, that'd be the only, only one I, I tried to, I, that I gave an attempt to hike. I'm just kind of rambling along now. Franklin Mountain State Park. Yeah, it is well worth a visit. It is a fantastic waypoint stop. If you're moving through the El Paso East, and if you're moving on 10, east or west, this is definitely a great place to spend the night. Yeah, it's better than a Walmart or a truck stop parking lot for sure. Uh, you need to make sure you have your own facilities with you because the only facilities here are vault toilets and there's not even one close by you'd have to if we wanted to go to one of the vault toilets we'd have to either break out the e-bike or the truck because it's probably around about half a mile to get there you walk but boy it'd be a long walk especially if you had to go it would be a great destination if you're a hiker this is definitely a place to come and do some hiking beautiful morning sunrise view the sun is lighting up the mountains over there Lot, lots of just really really cool wildlife to experience out here you should come to the franklin mountain state park and just at least experience it to some extent now if you've got a big coach you could fit you could actually fit three large coaches in here up to 40 feet if you're much if you're bigger than that you're you're not gonna be able to turn that loop yeah you should come to franklin mountains and and, and, and at least check it out we're done we gotta pack up and continue east our goal today is fort stockton there's not any public campgrounds in the fort stockton area if this is your first visit to the dude rv experience thank you for stopping by i really appreciate that if you found some value in this video give me that thumbs up i'd really appreciate that and if you've not already i'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button that really helps with the youtube algorithm and for those of you who have been following along thank you that's why we're here <laughs> thank you for that opportunity and for my patrons i'm most grateful for your generosity you guys rock all right, y'all come back now, you hear?